What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Yeah, buddy, I know y'all doing good because I am. Man, shout out to everybody in the chat with they thumb jack. Shout out to the new people too for stay tuning in and hitting that subscribe button and sharing the current video. All right, y'all. <clears throat> now look, it's no doubt in my mind that I pretty much think I know what's going on with the Kanika Jiggin case. And I've been doing a whole lot of thinking, you know, and I just need some of y'all help just to put these little mystery pieces together. For for prime example, the whole time, Miss Teresa and Zach played us, bro. So what I'm getting out of this, Teresa Martin was at a hotel. I don't know when that lady showed up, but all the evidence point to Miss Teresa and Leonora being at the hotel. The most important part is when. Now, we already know that Miss Teresa got some kind of secret about that parking ticket on the six. Okay. But make a long story short, the lady was calling Crown Plaza at 2.30 in the morning. That's when the video was going viral with the Irene live pre-recorded video. So we know she made it out the room, right? Okay. Even Miss Teresa said, how did my baby get outside? You know what I'm talking about? She was like, how did my baby get outside? And Miss Teresa said that like, she know for sure. You know what I'm saying? So. Look, y'all. This right here is the most key important in this case. Now, we know who go to pool. I already explained everybody where the stairwells would be at, right? Now, look. This is going to be stairwells that will lead all the way down to the pool. So this is how she will make it outside, right? Her go all the degree that was on her clothing when she was in the freezer. Right? Look. She can make it outside for a quick second before she come back in. Now, we know they got a lot of lawn, chairs, table, picnics. You know what I'm talking about? So, it's going to be a struggle right here, I believe. If she was fighting in this area. Because I know... For a fact, she was drugged to this area. So now look. <clears throat> we already know Zach TV was in Chicago on the 6th. Right? So, Zach brought King Rob them to the party, if I got this correct. So, Zach end up with Kanika, and I guess he smashed. I know they ain't going to be doing this in room 926. And I'm going to tell you like this here, that room Irene was in, I don't even think that's room 926. It can't be. It can't be. <clears throat> so look. On the six. Right. 
on the seventh. This is what he'll do. This is what he's doing on the, from the sixth to the seventh. Right? This on the field. This Irene birthday party. This Irene birthday party. Right? On the field. On the field. This on the four. Now, Miss Teresa made a post on her page. To my do is in this and this and this some house of men that's on my page that wanna uh take me to the show. So look, let's see when he first gonna mention Kanika. Scrolling up, keep on going. We we'll going in the seven. Here we go to seven. Right. No, I'm talking about. Okay. He had the Cook County Juvenile Center. All right. Got a lot of, you know, praying hands and trying to talk positive. Right. He with Fred Hammond. Ain't Fred Hammond a gospel singer or something? Fred Hammond, God, I think that's a gospel singer, ain't it? Okay. So now look. Whatever happened before the night, you know what I'm saying? Something, something had to happen to Kanika before to something that night. Something had to happen, bro. Cause Miss Teresa said she died on the night. Then they had to do a reenactment on the night to get everybody in room 926. Let them party, right? Because some maybe some of the people that did come in there didn't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? They just went there for a party. And it only lasts for two hours and they start kicking these people out round three and four o'clock. Right. So you mean tell me Zach showed up with Rob, Rob end up spiking a drink or something, you know what I'm talking about? Cause we, you know what I'm saying? So and he end up doing what he do. So King Rob, so this, so we in the tent. What time this is? That's in the morning. Hold on. This 1 a.m. in the morning. All right. Okay. It's the tent. He posting like crazy. He posting like crazy. <clears throat> Here we go. September the 11th. And he made this post at 9.03 in the morning on the Monday. Miss Teresa made this Kanika Jenkins pose at 11.30 p.m. Do it look like, you know what I'm saying, they done sit down and talk? Because Zach already admit that he talked to the family. Right? 
He already said that. We don't know what they talked about, though. Far as I'm concerned, you know what I'm saying? Miss Teresa, how we going to do this? Now you know they plotting. That's the way I see it now. That's the way I see it. Because at this point, Miss Teresa know the truth. So look, watch this. Help me post coming up. She posted right after she made this page. Then posted this again. Right? <clears throat> now, guess where she got these from? The same website that Andrew Holmes worked for when they come from human trafficking and stuff. Cause that's their logo. So look, on the 11th, right? She's sharing about the Irene pose. There go Young Giro. You see that? Check it out, y'all. Now, do it look like he's trying to create an alibi? Don't it, guy? Look. Here we go. Now he mentioned this. You know he's back home. He made this at night time. So he got so he when he got home, so he must have got home around by nine, so you know I'm check the house, all that old stuff. So that'd be on the twelfth. So what's all that about with the freezer with the three days on it? So look, it's in the morning, audio call, man, this was on the 11th right here, so she a day late uploading this video. I want to know why she choose to, to upload this video on the 12th. You see what I'm saying? So look, her, Zach, Rob, and them was all at the pool area. That's why Rob was always around Miss Teresa when she was talking to the hotel staff, the general manager, the lady, Bigfoot. Because I was like, why, they, why he around? You know what I'm saying? So look, 12, we going and we got to go to nighttime. She uploading all the this stuff. Boom. We getting close to her audio. Boom. This round about the time Zach's gonna get to the house. 
on so that crib getting broken in and you got Miss Teresa doing it all it is. Mysteriously, they took his laptop. Boom. She posted down. Old video. Uh, okay, that's the 13. Boom. So now he got a YouTube plaque. So boom, watch this. We're going to the to the uh 13 and 14. Look, watch this. Here go the next post he made on the 14th. So you mean to tell me he got everything figured out? No, him and Mr. Teresa was plotting, bruh. And they came up with a plan. You see that? Because look, now he's saying, check this out. I figured the case out. You idiots. It's clear as day after the mother and sister new news interview i'm interviewing the family this weekend we had to get to the bottom of this one for all he see he coming strong he coming like he he got something to hide bro it wasn't never about him trying to find justice for kanika bro and then look that's when they created that's when they created the Kanika Jenkins the discussion group. Cause I'm like, man, that discussion group came too fast. And that junk just, man, I'm talking about that junk just bloody with people. So boom, on the 14th, now look, on the 14th, he got interviews. Well, he said he already got interviews lined up. Now look how hard he coming. Comment below, you know, ask me questions. Look, we going to tell the world and this, you know what I'm talking about. Look, y'all better look at, look at these people he done tagging. You see what I'm saying? All right. Boom. I'ma get to the bottom and there's no way or other. A lot of shit is not adding up. This story isn't on your heart heavy then. You is not hearing me. This is the saddest by the death of this young woman. Rest in peace, rest in roses, baby girl. I never write, but I literally wrote three pages front and back of questions for everyone that was around that night before she disappeared. That's the 14th. So the hotel just reached out to me, demanding me not to shoot interviews. Bro, look. At 3.51 p.m. And two hours later, you get a call from the hotel time I don't shoot the interview. And look, and this on the 14th. Yo, yo, yo. Cuz, let's see, what's the word? I'm on Facebook Live. I'm finna go to Instagram Live in a second. Malik, what's up, little bro? Stan, what's up? Jasmine, what's the word? Fuck, it's funny. I told you no jokes, Zach. Here we go. I'm not even gonna go on Facebook. Man, this time it look like with Zach. Listen, um, it started to sound like Zach. I don't know. I, I'm really. I'm, I'm, I'm really. Look, it, it sounds like that when he brought Rob and them, girl. It looking like 
since Zach know that Kanika liked him, you know what I'm saying? He went on to smash, and, 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 and he knew King Rob didn't want to smash because King Rob open man. He going to let you know what he finna do before he do it. So, you know what I'm saying? And he know she ain't feeling Rob and all of that. So, you know, Rob like, man, I'm going to hit her with this drink. Now she got drugged up and everything, and this thing, you know. That's why Zach said, yeah, it was a sexual assault gone wrong. You feel what I'm saying? And now he got to straighten himself up. You see what I'm saying? He got Now he got to protect his homeboys, act like he don't even know who who Robbie, a.k.a. J. Peso, Marco, them, T. Knight, them. He ain't like he don't even know none of these people. So, boom. This thing, you know, now his homeboy became a YouTuber trying to explain the situation. Trying to, you know what I'm saying, throw everybody off track in the beginning. Since that wasn't working, now they threatened Miss Teresa. You see what I'm saying? Because you got to remember the death threats Miss Teresa got from King Rob. They was around, I think they were before the funeral, I believe. So, look. I don't know about this shit, G. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of weird shit happening there. You know, I just got three emails from some from just say some some motherfuckers on the upper echelon telling me don't do it, stay out that business. They don't got nothing to do with me. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I got a call from a a representative of the of the Rosemont or the or the um of the hotel. They said the full name or whatever. And I'm like, what? How y'all even get the number? They could, and they they call my personal phone. You feel me? They, they call this phone. It's like TV phone. It's a personal. And I'm like, how the fuck y'all? You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of weird shit happened within the last two and a half, three hours since I posted that picture. I should have never. Like one foot told me, I should never said I was gonna do the interview and just did it because you know what I'm saying. You know how this shit is. Um, I spoke with Irene, or like. Three in the morning, four in the morning. I spoke with Irene. You know, that's the old girl that did the video that had the, the, the that had the um the the camera to her face. I, I I spoke with John Doe. I spoke with Ty. I spoke with a with with, with a, the main people that was in the room. You understand what I'm saying? And we all agreed to do it tonight. You understand what I'm saying? At an under. So you mean to tell me not one time Irene leaked up with Miss Teresa and they all let the house discussing it? Y'all don't think Miss Teresa, Lira Nora, uh, Monifa Nim, everybody at the house talking about this, bro, and trying to come up with a story? Because look at what Miss Teresa's little niece is doing on Facebook, stirring up the narrative. Miss Teresa stirring up a narrative. Miss Teresa, why Miss Teresa got this going on? Zach making that video on the fourteenth. Look, right. Miss Teresa uploading. Boom. So Miss Teresa knows something about it. She know the video was pre-recorded. She know this one on the night. Right? And Zach tried to make it look like it was a female recording this. It was a female recording this. So, boom. 13th. Now, here go to 14th. See that? Look, 14th. Right? Uh oh. Yeah. Look, y'all, watch this. Disclosed location. Just, just, just knock it out. They, they refuse to um do their interview with the news stations because they know it's a lot of propaganda, and they gonna whatever the case may be, they gonna make them look like, you know what I'm saying, um. The aggressive in a situ the aggressors in a, a situation, they're gonna make them automatically look guilty. You know, in the world, tell them stop, yo, chill, chill. 
you know, in the world, you it's called you you innocent until proven guilty. You understand what I'm saying? But that's not how. This is what I'm hearing. You know, you, you know, what I'm, I can't really talk that much, but that's not how the media is making that shit look. That's how the media not making it look like that. You understand what I'm saying? But I don't know. I got two calls, but one of them was from the hotel, and I'm like, what the fuck? How they how y'all get my number? My personal number. Not no Zach TV number, my personal phone for family and shit like that. Look, for one thing, if you claim, if you wasn't Daryl, and if you ain't did no interviews with nobody yet, why they already threatening you? What make you so special for these folks to reach out to you dead bad, but like, don't do it, Zach? See, they, see, look, I don't even think the hotel threatened them. He just got to come like that in, in, in case if he do leak something, he want everybody to be on this side in case like. Because what I'm seeing here, now Zach and Miss Teresa got a plan to go against the hotel. Zach stuck on the security. Miss Teresa stuck on the hotel with the cover up. You see what I'm saying? So you got Zach talking like this now. They got that, yo, chill, chill for a second, chill for one second. I don't know how they got that information. I don't know how they got my number. There's no way on the, I just got this line. You understand what I'm saying? And, um, I don't know. That shit, this shit got me thinking. Like, really, really, like, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just leave, please. Um, we demand you not to, not to bring your brain into this situation right now. Let it work. Let, let it work. It's cause some shit like that on the guidelines, what he said. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and, I, and I'm like, cool is this? Well, just know we are representative of the such and such hotel. Hey, you said a mouthful when you said that because when you said, man, Zach was whack. Man, when I'm looking at Zach, the way I'm just really just learning Zach, man, Zach is whack. He ain't no killer. He ain't no goon. He just a dude with a camera. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and want to take your journalism to the next level and start interviewing rappers and gangsters and all that with a camera. So when he got that camera, he got the big head and started filming, you know what I'm saying? Chasing the clouds, start filming the rival gangs and putting videos out. And now he done got the gangs, you know, and they, now they beefed on fuel over. Now, he done got to a point that Zach had to move out of Chicago, bro. So, look. Check this out. Now, look. Zach got the footage. Because he always said, I was watching the footage. Yo, I got the footage. And I'm going to tell y'all where to go and get the footage. Because they released it right after the funeral. That's on September the 30th. 30 or 31st, I mean. You see what I'm saying? So if that was the 31st, Zach went to the hotel on the 24th. Now, remind y'all, he said he did went there. I don't know how many times he went there, but looking at his Facebook, he was there on September the 24th. So he had to have inside connection with a security guard, and they made a duplicate copy and gave it to him. Look, he had to pay for that copy, but look, he did one of the straight drop moves. This is what I caught on what straight drop would do. Straight drop, when he want to drop some tea and snitch on people, he give it to another YouTuber. He going to let the other YouTuber break it down to y'all and say somebody anonymous gave them a tip. This what's going on. So this was the same thing with Zach doing. That's the same thing with Zach doing right now. Look. Um, and we're trying our best to get to the bottom of this as, quick, as, as quickly as possible. Just, you know, um, continue doing what you're doing. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, basically telling them, you know, stick my, my notes in their business and, with, and the shit that they got going on right now. Um, you know, these e <laughs> the emails is crazy. Cause I'm like, how the fuck you get this? And this, this is my email. This is not no Zach TV one email. This is a my personal email. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't know what's going on out there in Rosemont. I shopped out there before. You understand what I'm saying? Two of the people that's acute. You know what I'm saying? Two of them motherfuckers that was in the room. They told me something about the um the chief for police. I, I don't want to be talking too much. They told me something about the police being related. 
Now look, I guess he even said he just slipped up and said he heard this from two people that was in the room. Did y'all caught it? Did you caught that? Look. They need to somebody that owned the hotel, or just know we are representative of the such and such hotel, um, and we are trying our best to get to the bottom of this as, quick, as, as quickly as possible. Just, you know, um, continue doing what you're doing. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, basically telling me, you know, stick my, my nose in their business and, with, and the shit that they got going on right now. Um, you know, these e the emails is crazy. Because I'm like, how the fuck you get this? And this, this is my email. This is not no Zach TV one email. This is. Oh, look, that's been proven. You you late. You said, so now you saying Zach with her? Yes, I'm saying it's been proven. I don't know where you been, Jack. But it sounds like you need a bottle of ketchup. You know what I'm talking about? Let me toss you a bottle of ketchup. Go to my labs. You know what I'm saying? My previous lab and watch them jump. I broke that shit down. So now look, y'all. Watch this. He finna slip up. And guess what he now y'all remember when Miss Teresa called him? Look at the look at look how they pop game on us. He acting like Miss Teresa done called him and acting like he don't want to say that's Miss Teresa, but he want to let the people be the judge on that. But he know who that was. So now they finna throw that Olga Harvey narrative. Then he want to bring the police up. Talking about, look, the people told me about the police and related to this. So now they trying to expose the cover up, right? So look. <clears throat> so... So now he trying to slick dry snitch on the police because that's what exactly they did. Now the Crown Plaza got the cover up for they murder. Because this one thing, Miss Teresa and Zach both know this. Even though she was assaulted, she was still alive. But when Crown Plaza decided to put her in the freezer, not the one upstairs, Because she was downstairs somewhere else and was still alive. Right? And Miss Teresa, and keep this in mind, Miss Teresa got everybody thinking it was a camera above the freezer on the main floor. But it's a camera above the freezer on the lower level, though. It ain't directly above it, but it's right there. And they're going to show you everything. And that's the main kitchen these people had shut down. So Kanika was there. In there. For some time. Now look. I'm going to tell y'all like this. That's where they going to know where she was at. But at some point. Crown Plaza ended up moving the body. Putting her in the freezer. And that's how you got the sister beverage manager on camera. Acting like he discovered her. But he really locked her in there, still alive, and this what caused her death. You see what I'm saying? So, boom. Now, Miss Teresa and Zach got the upper hand on Crown Plaza. Because now they could look. Because now you can have people would take, look. You have people in the room who were like, well, I'll take, take the salt charge. You know what I'm talking about? I'll take the salt charge. But that murder, though, I could tell about that murder. I could tell the people how y'all covered it up. You see what I'm saying? And what the police can do now, what Crown Plows could do now, number give Miss Teresa what she wants. So now, Zach finna play his role. Miss Teresa finna be playing her role on the low low. She, be, she finna be playing victim with the news. Y'all know she going hang with the news, press conference and stuff. And talking about, yes, I got the call at 434 in the morning, sounding all drunk, discombobulated. 
You know what I'm saying? You ain't even you, you know, you ain't even break down to nothing. You look more worried than anything. You you look more like you about to get exposed. Then Jane Coleman over there, he quiet, ain't saying nothing. Then you got Livernora on the other camera to my yeah, my mama came up here at four in the morning. What? Why you say four in the morning? Cause Trey ain't no day at the pool at that time. So that's why Miss Teresa did the same thing with Zach did. I'm going to tell him about the pool because I know about the pool. So let me say something about it. Yeah, they was cleaning out the pool later uh, 3, 4 in the morning. I know that captain must have jumped up out his seat like, man, look, we got to put a restraining order on Miss Teresa for stop making these poses. So now check this out. They all got together, came up with a plan. Now they finna give it to Crown Plaza. This is a, my personal email. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't know what's going on out there in Rosemont. I shopped out there before. You understand what I'm saying? Two of the people that's acute, you know what I'm saying? Two of the motherfuckers that was in the room, they told me something about the um the chief of police. I, I... Now, ain't, he said two people in the room finna tell him about the police chief related to who? I don't want to be talking too much. They told me something about the police being related to somebody that owned the hotel. Some shit about selling body part. It's a lot. This shit is crazy. Yo, I swear to God, I was up from when I got on FaceTime with Shorty at two forty two. I didn't go to sleep. He just really told y'all who she on the phone, who he on the phone with, Miss Teresa. Miss Teresa, and he said it's two on. Um, Gotta be Miss Teresa and Lirinora. Cause that's what Miss Teresa was telling him while he was driving. Acting all scared. Was like, yo, ma'am, who you say? Oh, you said he was there? You see what I'm saying? Man, look, we exposing all the lies now, bro. And my eyes is wide open now. Listen to the lies now. Check this out. To five, like 5.17 five or something in the morning. I talked to these people. FaceTime and on the phone. A lot of shit that the media don't know. They was telling me a lot of shit that scared me. That had me nervous. Like, what the fuck? Like, this shit ain't no movie, bro. This ain't no mystery or unknown. This shit is crazy, bro. It's a lot of shit we don't know. You understand what I'm saying? Them small towns and suburbs, they like keeping shit on the hush hush because they want to continue to get their business. You understand what I'm saying? You got to always think about that. They want to continue to get their business from the locals and from the out-of-towners and shit like that. And, and, and they want to re remain popular for what they're known for. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people will stop coming if they f feel like, oh, somebody died at this hotel or or, or, or they, they, they're they racist or they're not being 100% honest. It's a lot of shit that's, that's not adding up. Now that I say I put this on the forefront and I'm finna knock this shit interview out, I'm finna do it while the bam. We got two different um, cameras we using, uh, three different angles we finna make. We gonna mic everybody up. This is gonna be the most professional interview ever. I want the people to hear, hear their side of the story. They gonna talk one by one. Now I'm getting weird calls and shit like that and, 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 and emails saying don't do it and, and, and this and that. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know. And sorting them. They fear for their life, too, because they've been getting threats, not just from social media and motherfuckers. Yo, chill, my nigga, chill, yo. Just chill for a second. Yo, please, just one second. I beg you, my nigga, like, chill. So basically what Zach finna do, look, y'all have sympathy for Miss Teresa and Libranova. They going through some. And, and, and Kanika got caught up with Crown Plaza on some organ harvesting. They they took her kid. They, he don't want to say it, but in so many words, they get they Crown Plaza finna go down for organ harvesting, right? Now look, then he finna uh uh give you a story about Irene. Be like, look, y'all just don't know how deep it is. These kids are getting threatened. Now he got now he want everybody to feel sorry for Irene and Monifa because whoever that Kimalu Wild lady is said that he know Irene and Monifa. And it makes sense because he got an interview with Irene lying for him. Then you got killing them lying for the Live for everybody 
in the room. And that's why Miss Teresa told me, I believe those babies when they did that interview with Zach. Man, look, man, look, bro. I believe Miss Teresa and them were probably standing behind the camera, bro. You see what I'm saying? So look, you got Zach doing this on the 14, giving everybody a sob story. Y'all, look at how, come on now, bro. I still love y'all mad ass. Be patient. God damn, I got five more videos to do. All of this on the same day, bro. All of this on the same day. That's a red flag alone. Like, man, look how he going ham on the same day. He done got spooked. Something going on on the 14th. Because, look, you got Miss Teresa. Look, this on look. This on the 14th. This is not on the 15th. If you've been following me, this video was already recorded because it's on Facebook. I mean, not on Facebook, on YouTube. And it just showed on the 14th. Cause that's when, you know what I'm saying? She was told, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just got out of surgery. She making it look like I'm, I'm just getting out of surgery and I'm on my way home. Cause you got Lirinora at the press come. They like, what Miss Teresa is? Miss Teresa at the house the whole time. But she watching the news and you know, they texting and this thing, you know, rumors getting out of light. Cause Miss Teresa, cause look, everybody figuring out like, damn, what's going on with Miss Teresa? They talking about they seen the footage. Look. Miss Teresa playing, playing victim like, I ain't see no footage. I ain't get Andrew Holmes because this one Andrew Holmes claiming he saw the footage. So look at everything that's going on September the 14th. Something popped out, bro. September the 14th. Boom, then they drop and look. Then they look. Here she go. She went from this, she went from this to this. I'm on my way right now. You know, I was just thinking about Andrew Holmes. He did make a lot of sense earlier when I talked to him on the phone. When he told me the hotel money not making, uh, the hotel not making money, so I should get up on live and ask y'all to close, shut the um, protest down. I should have listened to him earlier, cause he did make a lot of sense, huh? He did, huh? But it's okay. I so that just lets you know she was already in cahoots with Andrew Holmes. So whatever her and Andrew Holmes got going on, and you know Zach in trouble, you know look what Zach got going on. Man, I'm getting threats from the hotel. You, you, you see that game? Put that together with this. So you mean to tell me you got a protest? From the Crown Plaza. The protest mad at Miss Teresa. But they like, whoa, Miss Teresa, you saw the footage? You told us you didn't see the footage. She like, I have not seen the footage. But you got Andrew Home claiming he saw the footage. You see what I'm talking about? So, boom. Look what she posted. You got Zach right here on the 14th. Talking about he finna drop the interview. Now he finna go ham. Look, now he finna go ham. Now you see how he coming? He coming like he hiding something. I never blocked these many people in my life. Cause at that time, people was starting to look at these people suspects, bruh. Hey y'all, I appreciate the thumbs up too, gang. Appreciate the likes too. Appreciate the cash out, gang, too, y'all. All right, now look. How soon y'all want to see this? Please let me know. 
I did four interviews. So he hyping everybody up. So look, you got look. So you you been through by the hotel on the fourteenth. Now you finna drop interviews. So so it's like you threatening Crown Plaza. Like I got the interviews. You know what I'm saying? Don't make me release them. But if you think about the interviews that he did drop, they really ain't about nothing. You see what I'm saying? It was really was designed, really was cooperating with the police narrative. Where she was at in the room, what time, to some. When she left out the room, to some. That's when the last time I saw her. Oh, yeah. It's the same narrative with the police report. You see what I'm saying? So look, September the 15th. Now look. They were, look, they were easy. They, in the beginning, they had me thinking this was the freezer. They had me thinking this was the actual freezer that she was in. And she was describing, ain't no way. I'm like, what's up with this? So look. This on the 15th. So you got threats from the hotel on the 14th. So the next day, you decided... At 2.36 a.m., I'm going to the hotel tomorrow, and I'm going to force them to do an interview. Zach finna do an interview with the people that was in the room with the girl that's finna be like, whoa, 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 the fuck? Do we got in the building. See, these people must know something. You see what I'm saying? So that's why he tagging. That's why he's sharing the people poll. Zach took the interview down quick as hell. Now look. He ain't even look. Now we know this on the Instagram or Facebook. This is social media post. This ain't like an email or nothing like this. So... If you took the picture, why you cropped out the person that sent it to you? And keep in mind, if you if you ain't friends with the people, you know what I'm saying? That motor, that mission is going to go to like a spam or something. You got to make a fake account. That account ain't finna say private. You see that? Come on, you supposed to show who was sending this. But he know to crop that out. He could have typed this up for himself. Look, he could have did that himself. He trying to make it really look like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you mean to tell me the, whole, the hotel got a, uh, typing you on the Facebook page? All right. Then he told me, this is the 23rd of the day. So look. So why y'all mad at bro Zach Stoner? Now, now, everybody in the frenzy. I can't even sleep. This way too much for me. I'm investigating this like a lawyer. I guess it's getting to him. He done got to him. This bitch, where she a detective? I hope she took some criminal justice classes. He, y'all know who he talking about? Kilo Brown. Cause at this point, Kilo Brown gave you a narrative and told everybody the police were there. Now you know why he'll make that post. Cause if she tell y'all the police were there, people you know what I'm saying. Uh, the management, all these people, the police done showed up, bro. And said this was happening around 3 and 4 o'clock. And you got Mr. Reese 
at the hotel at four because Livernora told the news that her mama was there at four in the morning. And then you got a hotel security guard telling Trey Gang that everybody was at the pool. Because now you finna go to look at this. Now, watch this, gang. Let's go to Tucson. Now, this is 216, right? Watch this. Bro, keep in mind, this going to be around about the same time Mr. Teresa will be calling the hotel talking about check the cameras. Check the cameras at Tucson. They documented what she wanted to see on that footage. Now, look. Everybody already know when King Rob talk about the Kanika Jenkins case, he always bring up this footage and people at the back door. Ain't this where the pool area is? Now I see why he said this in the beginning. Yeah, you see Miss Teresa and Livernoa right there. And I'm like, why he saying that? And I never did know why he said that, but now I do. So look, I'ma speed it up. Then I'm going to show y'all this parking lot right here too because cause Miss Teresa knows something on that footage round about this time. It's too some. She was concerned about it. She, they said she was on the phone with security. According to paperwork, round about this time, Miss Teresa is connected to the security. What you would call that? If you got court documents saying this lady talked to an actual security guard and he said he going to inform the cameras. You just connect Miss Teresa to a security and which one it is. Which one it is. So look, at this point, they had us thinking, look, when we used to watch this video, they had us thinking Kanika somewhere roaming the hallways. But you want to know what I think? Everything we think that happened to Kanika already been happened. Shut up. It already been happened. That's why they needed people showing up round about this time. Hello. That's why Irene said the party didn't get to start at the Tucson. So that's the way they covering it up. You see what I'm saying? That's how you covered it up. They're just like this here. Boom. I tell you, look, y'all see these people here? They're just like if I did a murder a day before, right? So... I did a murder day before, and I'm finna invite some people that don't know what's going on. And these people right here are coming to the room. So they're going to be actually in room 926. That's why all they story was like, man, we already left the hotel when all of that went down. 
So it's like when they had the people actually came to the party, you know what I'm saying? On September night in room 926, them people showed up. I was like, yeah, what's up, baby? It's your birthday. Yeah, yeah, it's our birthday. And next time you know, she like, man, look, y'all got a roll. They like, damn, bitch, we just got her. Yeah, I know, but you know what I'm Y'all got a roll, you know what I'm You got security keep coming to the room. You see what I'm saying? So now you got people really showed up there and left and didn't even know nothing. You see what I'm saying? So look, you got, so just imagine. And then look, and the whole time, these folks somewhere in the hotel covering up a crime scene. Right about this time, you got somebody on this camera and boy, is they deleting footage at this point. Because keep this in mind, the police finna show up. The police finna show up in the next 45 minutes, bro. The police finna show up in the next 45 minutes. According, according to, to Lira Nora, Mr. Reese finna be her at Folsom in the morning. So now when I see Bree Bree walking through the hotel on her phone and look how Miss Teresa, dumb dumb again, look how it's finna connect her and Bree Bree together because you contacting Bree Bree on the phone at four something, meaning you and Bree Bree is gonna be at the hotel texting each other, bro. You see what I'm saying, gang? Man, y'all keep sharing the video because the shares don't went up too, y'all. The shares don't went up to the thumbs even because look what's going on. Now look. You see that? Something just happened, bro. Now, now it makes sense because look. I always wanted to know. I was like, man, what was going on in that parking lot? Because he running. And she running. And then they finna go towards the kitchen. Bro, them folk went towards the kitchen, bro. And chilled there for a second. About five, ten minutes. Before they go to the lobby and talk to the front desk for about one minute. And then he went back out the front door. And the female followed right behind him. Hi, y'all. Let's get to 200 likes, y'all. Let's get to 200 likes. Because, look. Look who coming in. Pay attention. Right? You got Big Baby and them coming in. Man, I'm telling y'all, I feel it, bro. I watched this footage so many times. I watched this so many times. Because y'all know I like to see these people be walking on footage. Because remind y'all, Zach TV told y'all, whoever seen, whoever y'all see on the footage round about the time that Kanika came up missing, them your suspect. So look, so it looked like that while everybody would be at the party chilling, they downstairs covering up a murder. Because at this point, Kanika got to be deceased, bro. She got to be. 
She got to be deceased around about three and four o'clock. I want to say between the hours of four. You see what I'm saying? Between the hours of three and four o'clock in the morning. See, they were trying to fit the narrative a little. Just say she came walking in the halls on the night, walked in the freezer. Soon when she walked in there, she died at three. Look, y'all see this? This at 220. This could be at 220. Ah, this could be at 120. Now, look, if you look how many ways you can look at it, if they on the phone, Kanika phone, if this at 120, if this the correct time, Monifa got Kanika phone, texting, I'm ready to go to Lira Nora. And that's going to be at 120. That text was actually 120, not 130. It was 120. And look what you see on the footage. Right? But what if this said 220? You see that? This where this where your mind get to thinking that. You know what I'm saying? Cause now I used to cause when I used to watch this footage, I used to this is what my mind said when I watch it. I'm thinking, okay, Kanika roaming the halls. Let me see where everybody at location is. I know where everybody at in the room. I know where the staff at. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, man, it's something funny else about this footage, bro. Because I'm like, it's too quiet. Ain't no movement. Like, I'm like, no, nah, something ain't right. Once it get quiet, bro, somebody on the move. I'm thinking about time skips. So that's why majority of the time will be skipping around about this time because you got staff on the lower level, especially on the lower level because they got all the cameras turned out. So if wherever you got the cameras turned off at, the most is that's where the body is. Nine times out of ten, that's where, go, that's where the body going to be at. So I'm honestly thinking that, man, they had her originally downstairs in a cooler. You see what I'm saying? Originally downstairs in the cooler. And Crown Plaza moved the body. They moved the body. So, so when they was like, oh, yeah, she died downstairs in the basement. That was Zach said. That what Mitch Reese said, that was all the report said, but all of a sudden the footage came out and you got the beverage manager locking her in the freezer. And this time, you know, Mitch Reese said, oh, we got him. We got him locking the freezer in there. So look, So I got it at this high setting, you know what I'm talking about? So, cause y'all know I was watching the footage. I'm like, y'all, somebody driving cars back here and watch how all this finna make sense, gang. Cause you wanna know who who I think this driving up there? I don't know, but they could be Miss Teresa and them car, bro. Cause I'ma tell y'all something. If 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 Miss Teresa were calling this hotel round about two some, you best believe her and Livernora, you know when you, you best believe she gonna call Livernora, bro. And that's what they ain't being honest about. Cause this just to show you that Miss Teresa look, this just to show this just to let me know that Miss Teresa is down with this game. She was down with it, bro. Cause look how she playing her role. Now look, they come back in. They was gone for seven minutes. So they went to the car. Now keep this in mind. They got us thinking Kanika is in room 926 and she really ain't in room 926. It would be impossible. That's why they had to book the room. Look, check this out, y'all. Watch this. Y'all want to know how cold it is? Because they said... Check this out. They guess how you called them up. They said they booked the room 926 on what day, gang? 
What day they book room 926 on the 8, right? According to the paperwork, on the 8. You know what I'm saying? But watch this. According to the paperwork, they booked the room on the 8. But why they gave you a video of the 7 and giving you illusion that that girl paying for room 926. You see what I'm saying? Bruh, I bet she was paying for those goddamn rooms with those credit cards. And, and she didn't book no room 926 on no 7. She didn't book that not room 926 on the 7. The paperwork said that room was bought on the 8. Hey, y'all. Now, look. What's going on here? That's why they all had to keep the same clothes on, bro. So, look. Now you watching the door. It's finna be 2.30. My main focus is here. Because you're going to see movement in this area. So, when I was looking at the footage, I always wanted to know. I'm like, ooh, y'all, I see somebody moving. And everybody was like, ooh, I see him moving. That could have been Miss Teresa and Libra Nora now. Because who else would be back there in a car? It ain't staff member. You, know, you should know where everybody at. In the room, because you're going to see him come on the footage. So that means somebody was there at that hotel and wasn't on that footage. And they back here in this location, bro. Man, look how Miss Teresa moving and grooving. Huh? And living over. And you know you got Zach there. You know what I'm saying? You got Zach robbing them there. Because look, at this point. I know Rob there because the footage still going to have him there. But guess what? Zach going to have to leave. And guess what? Miss Teresa was at an airport in O'Hara when she made that dispatch call. Right? And look, guess who would be at the airport too? Zach TV. Zach TV. He going to be at the airport because remind y'all, he finna go to Miami. I mean, not Miami, but New York. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. So you mean to tell me why you would have Zach at the airport, Miss Teresa at the airport? Look how you just linked up Miss Teresa again. Again. Now look. Y'all watch this footage, right? Cuz we right here at this back door. Look at the area. Look at the surroundings. The pool is right here. This the back door everybody going to be standing at, right? Just say, if I park my car across the street, I could just walk across the street, go in these, somebody can let me in, and I can walk all the way in Crown Plaza to room 926. It don't even be detected on the camera. You see what I'm saying? Because look. Somebody left that pool open for them, bruh. And whoever left the pool for them got a key card. Meaning, man, look, who will have access to the pool at night at a hotel? Now you know who let them in the pool area. Boom. And then it's like when they did her wrong in the pool area and left her, this where everybody was showing up at. In the pool. Look. Let's watch the video game. I'm going to take a pause for the calls. 
I'm going to mute my microphone, gang. You know what I'm saying? I'll be back with my commentary. You know what I'm talking about? So y'all stay tuned. I'll be back. Now, gang, I'm back, y'all. I had to roll one up right quick and get you know what I'm talking about. So now, look, <clears throat> I want to say, man, appreciate the thumbs up too, y'all. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, Zach TV had to come there with Rob. Think about this. Just say something happened on the eight. Cause remind y'all Tay's on their video about what they saw on the eight, right? Think about it, right? Something gonna happen to Kanika 
between the sixth and the fifth, the fifth and the sixth, right? Because Joseph King said that's when they started doing the ritual, whatever the ritual was, it started on the fifth going on the sixth. So, boom. Now you got Miss Teresa find a pocket ticket in the car on the 6th at 1.36 p.m. Now, is that putting Miss Teresa again would be at Crown Plaza at the hotel or Kanika? Either way, she didn't want to disclose about the 6th. She keeping a secret about that. Right. So we just going to let we just going to act like we know what the secret is. We know what's going on with Kanika. So now they got to do all this cover up. First, they came up with a plan. Look, let's get let's do. We got a book room 926 and we got to throw a party. So. Now, it's going on the night. They got people showing up to the party. At this point, Kanika still got to be alive. You see what I'm saying? But she she going to be in the pool area, I believe. And then look, watch this. They they say all through the eight, they done covered it. Look, they done got Kanika somewhere on the lower level in the cooler or something. And they trying to figure out what they going to do, what story they going to come up with. Because you already had a salt that was in the hotel, according to Franz K. They didn't even want them allegations to be on the hotel, right? So, so the hotel was like, well, we just going to make it look like an accident because we don't want our hotel brand to be damaged about what they did to her in the room. So, boom. Now we're going to say Kaniga somewhere in the basement. According to the paperwork, she gonna be on the lower level somewhere. That's how the news presented it. She was found on the lower level. So, boom. Now the night coming up. Boom. Now you got the night. You know what I'm saying? And this time, you know. You got people meeting up at the pool area. So the question is, was Kanika was in that pool area at that time? I don't think so. I think you still got the cover of the pool. You got feces. You see what I'm saying? It's going to take a minute to even drain the pool. You got to drain it. You know, then you got to clean it, refill it. Right? Okay. All right. It's now look, they coming in. Check them out. Check them out. When they come in, watch how they come in. See, he already pointed towards the pool area. That explain why all them will be coming in the hotel with hoodies on. That's why they'll come in with hoodies on and with drinks already in their hands. Because I'm like, I know they ain't riding in no car, you know what I'm saying? And, and popping out with cups. And no, you know, usually the gang don't drink out of cups. They'll pass that ball around. Only time they'll drink out of cover if they at a hotel or something, you know what I'm saying? Something like this. That's why you never see Monique for them with a liquor bottle, because there was a lie about them going to the liquor store. There was a lie 
about them because they need a narrative about how she got drunk. So you needed to come up with a liquor store story. So boom, they come in. See that? So you might as well say the crime was already committed. But according to Rosemont, they want you to think a mystery. Like, ooh, you see them? They just came in. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? They finna go snatch Kanika type. You see what I'm saying? That's why them people weren't faded about people pointing fingers at them and all this. Because they know they didn't really do it. Now, they a part of it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They is a part of it. It ain't even no telling, bro, how many men they done slept with her, bro, before she died. Y'all never thought about that? Because that this be the main thing on my mind. So, look. You didn't see these guys walk in the parking lot. They got the park somewhere up in here. According to the paperwork, that's where they said they parked it. On the side of the building. The side parking lot. So that's where they're going to be parked at. So look. Now it's going to be three o'clock. Now y'all see how Rosemont had everybody confused like, ooh. Kanika roaming the halls. They got to be editing footage. And they really had us thinking that this girl will walk in the halls somehow and, and was ending up in the kitchen. And nobody didn't see her. None of that. That's why them YouTubers was telling us Kanika never walked those halls. Not on September the 9th. At no 2.30 in the morning. Because according to this. Miss Teresa already called the hotel. And they already talking about check the camera. So what if she wanted to check the camera. To make sure everything was cool. You see what I'm saying. She, they, 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 according to the paperwork. These people told. Miss Teresa. A security guy. We're going to check the cameras. And we're going to call you back and let you know. And then look. Why you think Bree Bree was on the move that night? Now it makes sense why Bree Bree couldn't be still. Because if all of that's going on, guess who she going to have to report to? And she got the car keys. Miss Teresa. Look at all the evidence going back to Miss Teresa, bruh. Never in a million years that I thought that I'd be making content about Miss Teresa, the mother, bruh, and her daughter, and these people done got exposed for real. Man, I ain't even know. They done told that many lies and got caught up in them. So now look, it's three o'clock or is it two o'clock? Cause the narrative is going to be the same at two or three o'clock. You feel me what I'm saying? So at this point, Kilo Brown story finna match up with the footage. Cause she said, yeah, that's when everything finna get hype. Round three and four o'clock. Remember what Irene's story said? Uh, yeah, the party done died down. And that's when Kanika left out the room. Now we know that didn't happen. We know that didn't happen. Now, see, why you didn't want to come out of the room? See, look, look, it's 3 o'clock. All right. 
So at this point, Livernora and Miss Teresa would be talking to Irene, Monifa, because you already got proof they on the phone talking to each other like if Kanika still alive. Like that's why the report the reporter asked Livernora, did you was the last did, did was you the last one to talk to your sister? And she lied and said no. Why she lied? It, Cause now they protecting Zach, Rob. They actually protecting the people. It's like they were cool with what happened with her until the hotel put their hands on her and moving the body and actually killing her. Cause look. That's why all of them started posting on the night on Facebook. You see what I'm saying? So, boom. Is it two or is it three? I want to go with two o'clock. I want to go with two o'clock because everything I told y'all what will be going on at three o'clock is going to be the same for two o'clock. You see what I'm saying? So, boom. All right. Now look at the page. So you see that? Now look. I want to know who was selling Kanika t-shirts at the protest. Because they made a killing, bro. Everybody had Kanika shirts on. And you know what I'm saying? Because look, Miss Teresa got the whole girl on. She got the earrings. The shirts, keychain, and everything. This a lady know her daughter last moment with some dudes, some grown men. She wasn't even feeling, bruh. Zach basically let that happen to Kanika, bro. And this why I ain't got no respect for him. So. So she uploading all these videos of Kanika. Why? She loading these videos out of guilt, bro. You know what I'm saying? She upload these videos. She trying to get the impression like me and my baby were cool. I never betrayed Kaneko. You see that, bro? That's what I'm getting out of this. It makes me think that when when people say is Miss Teresa madam because she always keep young girls around and you know what I'm saying and and and, and maybe it, it was she was pimping her own daughter out because look at all these people showing up. You got Chloe, you got YouTubers on her, bruh. 
that would make sense why these YouTubers would be up here. If you pay attention to their content, bro, look, they know what happened to Kanika. You see what I'm saying? They know what happened to Kanika, but this would mess everybody up when the hotel moved the body from the original scene. And probably didn't tell them. Because remind y'all, P said, uh, I got the call at 12 talking about uh, she found it in the freezer. And he said they were 12 on September the 9th at 12 in the afternoon. 12 in the afternoon. So look, you got this girl right here, this man man girlfriend. This his baby mama. They was talking about this with Keela Brown. I don't know if that's Keela Brown because this girl got some, she got a little chest on her. I can't tell, you know, I know these ain't no double D. Because I seen, I seen her juice and them just got to be in the A in the B cup because them just kind of small. But I don't know because you look at her, them they, I don't know. Cause I know she got some small racks. Like she got some small racks. I don't know if this Keela Brown, but this girl is slim and fit the description of Keela Brown. I know Keela Brown got a big ass forehead. You know what I'm talking about? I know she a big head motherfucker. But, but look, just peep out the game. Know that zillionaire. Zillionaire like to play security. Now, if he ain't working at Hollywood, I'm quite sure that he got a security job. You see what I'm saying? So now look, I won't even be surprised if, if the hotel, just say, if he works security at Crown Plaza, let's just say Zillionaire worked for security at Crown Plaza. Scrape Drop worked for security at Crown Plaza. You know what I'm saying? And you got Marco work for security at Crown Plaza. It would make sense that these people had security in those rooms with these people. So they won't go nowhere, keep an eye on them, the police, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't never think like that, bro. Cause these people security, bro. I done linked straight drop to nightclub working security for nightclubs. Zillionaire told everybody he worked security. Marco told everybody he worked security. So I'm like, how all these dudes got the same security background? And all of them got Kanika Jenkins. Was they with security? You see what I'm saying? Bruh. These people still got regular lives and jobs. Chosen King says, Scrape Drop didn't want to lose his job. And then look how they look. Look look at Zillionaire content off the top. Funky ass Miss Teresa. Look. This Zillionaire. Yeah, mama didn't care about her daughter anyway. She let her daughter get gang raped and all that. And I'm thinking this man is a hater. I'm thinking this man was a true hater, bro. And coming to find out, man, he ain't did number speak facts. It's all he did was told the truth. Now you got Chloe. Listen to Chloe content. She already know what Miss Teresa dealing with. It. She just playing along with the whole situation. That's why she always like, I know this. You can't tell me this about the Kanika Jenga case. And you know what I'm saying? If you know all this and nobody can't tell you nothing, you just told everybody you were there and you on the footage. No wonder why you were all the group. No wonder why you got family 
from Miss Teresa's side of the family on your platform. On your platform. I mean, Miss Teresa and Lirinora, y'all got that much love for the gang that you would let these people do that to your own relatives. Bro, these people messed up in the head, bro. Look. Look at this shit. Come on, bro. That's Chloe. Zillionaire know to keep his head down. Come on, y'all. Go to Zillionaire page. Big belly, no chest ass nigga. You see what I'm saying? Bruh. So, this at 212 or 312, right? Look at Miss Teresa making these poses on the Kanika Jenkins page. That's messed up, bruh. Look at the dates. All the this. Look, here go the dudes coming in. Kenny Tarnell. Don't this look like this right on crew? Y'all come to the hotel around about two and three. So that means if I'm correct, I'm going with this two some, bro. Watch how smart Trey gang is. I'm finna go with this 213. Cause what Irene said. Yeah, this when people started coming to the party. That wasn't no lie. That was the truth. Cause that was the part of the plan. Get people come to the party. That's why they all coming in already on phones and they already have full of drugs. You see what I'm saying? So now you got them. Now you got people coming to the party. And two some. So guess what they try to spin that narrative? Oh, it was some dudes start showing up that we ain't even know. You see that guy? So now we looking at Kenny Tarnell. Like, whoa, there they go. And they could just probably just came up there. Because what happened? Look, if, if, if I was the police and that took place, right? I'm going to get all the suspects back to the hotel. And we finna react what y'all did days before. But this the kicker. I'm going to just show y'all coming in on the footage. I'm going to show y'all going to the pod. And you're going to agree she was still in the room. And when you left, she was still in the room. Now, I covered your ass. Appreciate that, officer. Now, social media pointing the fingers at Kenny Tottenham. You got people. Did you kill her? Now nah, we just lifted her soul. Trolling. And people like, why these people ain't locked up? Because they ain't commit no murder. Right? Now, you got this going on at Tucson. Irene said, yeah, that's when the party just got started. Tiffy, killer. Yeah, that's when the party real got started. Because... Could listen to their story in the beginning. That's why Zach started off in the interview when he said, "With well, uh, killing P, was you were there at the hotel when they pronounced Kanika dead?" Yes. I said, "What? You were there at the hotel when they pronounced her dead?" Yes. Then I started listening to the interview when Zach said, when did you get the call? I got the call around 12 something in the afternoon. So that means peas and killing them going to be there. 
You see that, bro? Man, bro, y'all see this? Y'all see how all this make a sense now? So now check this out. In 15 minutes, Miss Teresa finna make a call to the hotel. So when I was trying to tell everybody, ooh, y'all, the time off. I'm like, ooh, y'all, the time off. I'm going to go with this time stamp right here. Not, not that time stamp that they be showing right here in the corner. So now look, it's going to be 2.15. Mr. Reese finna call the hotel cause now she concerned about footage. She already know what happened to Kanika. So if she concerned about footage, somebody moving around that hotel. That's a staff member that Mr. Reese want to uh, criminate. She wants somebody. They're going to show a staff member on the footage, but guess what? Guess what the staff member did. They got off that footage. Now you got big boy time stamps now. You see what I'm saying? Cause that lets me know if she was concerned about the footage, then she know what's on the footage. Just, just say like, if I know I was in this, just say if I was in this hallway right here at two seventeen, and I'm talking to Miss Teresa. At two seventeen, I'm the manager, and I'm talking to Miss Teresa. What if I show that footage like, yeah, I'm going to release this footage, Miss Teresa, that I was talking to you in this hallway. Well, if you release that footage, I'm going to tell everybody about that camera downstairs above the freezer, how she got in the trash bag and all of that. Now they installing each other, right? Because look what's on Miss Teresa, man. This ain't justice for Kanika. This a throw off. This ain't justice for Kanika, bruh. This ain't no grieving mother trying to find justice by uploading pictures and drawings. You see what I'm saying? With no titles. Look, you got your daughter on a cardboard box. Then you sure in this video, that ain't even Kanika walking that hallway. Then you try to throw everybody off and say, look, they just told Kanika organs in the cooler to the dumpster. Right? So now they done took the focus off. Look, this Kanika, and this ain't even the, this, this the fake Kanika, bro. This a family member. Look. Look how she knew to hit the stir railing. Now y'all see Kanika back. Look. That's not Kanika, bruh. This why this person, if you drugged up and out your mind, it, you ain't finna be playing in your hurl. You ain't finna be walking down the camera with your head down, planning your hair. Look, look at the walk. Look, look at her jacket. Now you supposed to see every time when she walk, you supposed to always see her back, right? Cause her back is supposed, cause her jacket little. Why you don't see it on this camera? Look, see that? See that? Look, come on, gang. So they got us thinking Kanika be wrong. Look, if you look at this clock right here at 224, you got these people coming back in and they saying Kanika will just be getting off on the elevator on the lower level. Come on, bro. 
Look how she knew to hit the staircase and really she linked into it before she hit it. That's why they got her walking that route. And they told, look, make sure you you walk back there towards that freezer. And we're going to make it real glitchy. And then didn't even go. She turned the corner and went in the freezer room. Just like what Livernora said. Because Livernora basically describing the route of or what the footage we're going to show. Just say like in the 911 call. How Miss Teresa know her daughter was going to be this drunk and messed up if the friends told her, yeah, y'all been drinking. Yeah, uh, she just had one cup. And you know that's your daughter. And you already know that Kanika just don't really drink like that. You know what I'm saying? No more and all this. So you, you would have left that alone. Like, okay, she just had one cup. You wouldn't be thinking about no sexual assault or none of this. You see what I'm saying? You won't even be thinking about none of that. You would be concerned to be like, what? She... Y'all, let's go back up to that hotel and we ain't leaving that junk till Kanika come out that junk alive. You see what I'm saying? It won't be no point no fingers at Monique for them and, and Shamaya. Come on, bro. How would you point the fingers at these people if the Crown Plaza got all this going on with the surveillance footage? Look. Look, then when I looked at the video, now look, it's 2.30 now, gang. It's 2.30 now. Now watch how she walking. Oh, they, ain't go, uh, they, they already showed it. Look what Miss Teresa got going on. On the 12. She may look. She can sh look. Ain't this strange that this lady can't show you no picture of Kanika recently before she died with her and just her mother? You see what I'm saying? When, me when she did take a picture with her own mama, it was when she was young, bro. Like she was 15 and 14. And she looked like she was like 15 and 14 at the time. But 16, 17, 18, 19, I don't think her mama got a good relationship. And it's like this was Miss Teresa trying to prove that her and her daughter had a, a phenomenal relationship. You see what I'm saying? And that wasn't even the case. Cause that can't be the case. If you let Rob and them do that and then make it so bad. Then make it so bad. We heard Rob with Miss Teresa talking to Crown Plaza. That would make sense. Miss Teresa know that's why the Bigfoot talking to her. And you got King Rob in the back. And they arguing about a location where Kanika body was found. Even though they already found the body in the freezer. And that's the narrative. And that's what the news putting out. But why Miss Teresa is arguing with the staff near about the location of where Kanika body was found. If the whole world know that she was found in the freezer. Come to find out the freezer is upstairs. Why is Miss Teresa and Rob arguing about a location where the body is supposed to be at? You see what I'm saying? It's like the hotel want to convince Teresa. Just say she dies downstairs on the lower level. And Miss Teresa was like, well, you already show upstairs. That's what I'm going with. And I'm finna tell y'all it's a camera above the freezer. That lady just thought about a chick, bruh. Maya, Maya. Miss Teresa uploading this picture. Look, she done uploaded this on Kanika Instagram nine minutes before she uploaded it on Kanika Jenkins page. Dummy forgot to look. 
This show you that Miss Teresa ain't thinking. She uploading stuff. Boom. Look what she upload. That sound like, yeah, what you doing at the police station, Irene? Is you snitching on the gang? You see what I'm saying? Because at this point, everybody know Irene's scared. She didn't even look scared sitting next to Zach. Because I always was like, why she don't want to make eye contact with Zach? That could be the reason why. Because we don't know Zach like that. We don't know how that man was behaving in the room. Then he got number. Look who he got with him. You see what I'm saying? Look who he got with him. So this like Miss Teresa, look, we didn't mean to kill her. She had a heart attack while we was in there. Man, I'm going to let y'all know why we put her in the freezer later on. Who is this person? I tried to get this picture, but he got Monifa and, and Kanika for his picture. I won't even be, I won't, look. Whoever this person is, do is this. Because he had plenty of people on this profile. So this person do is this. So is this a throw off or was this was real? You see what I'm saying? What if this King Raw page posing a young hero? I don't know. But who would say shit like this on social media? I know King Raw would do something like this. Cause he do it all the time. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. But I, one thing I do know is 239. Time done skilled. You see what I'm saying? Nobody ain't paying attention to the time. And mysteriously, Miss Teresa want to know what's on that footage. Exactly 230. And it skipped over there, gang. It skipped over there. So look, boom. Watch what finna happen, gang. Look, let's speed it up. We finna speed it up. Look. And guess who that is? Miss Teresa family member. I ain't even know. This Miss Teresa family members. That's why he came up there. That's the one, this Kanika cousin. This the one Monifa told him, neat, neat, in girl. And Miss Teresa admitted, this her relative. That's why they end up with him in the parking lot. Hello. Look, that's why they met up in the parking lot, bruh. He on the phone. He finna go up there and he finna be only mobbing with Shamaya and Monifa. So, so, y'all see, they finna start roaming the halls now. So, now they got people at the party, right? At the reenactment. So, this when Irene released the pre-recorded video round about this time. Now, the video finna go viral, Right? Because now the world got a video that's going live and saying, ooh, it's a girl in the room getting raped and set up by her best friend. So, boom. Now you got Miss Teresa. Before the video went viral, you got Livernora already texting her sister phone. Then you got Miss Teresa calling 2.30. Check the cameras. Now you got people finna leave at the party. 
right? Because they didn't stay long. Because cause I always wanted to know, I'm like, man, these people just got the, why is they leaving already? Now you know why. Because they all from the leave from the, from room 926, and they all from the go to the pool area. You see what I'm saying? Cause, Cause the Kimberly Wild girl made it clear that she had the impression that Kanik was there at the party. You see what I'm saying? She never said she really saw Kanika. Only thing she describing that the people that was at the room that night, she didn't saw Kanika, but the same people was at the party. When she left, that's when Irene video went when we're going viral and she was watching the video and we're piecing together we're like them the same dudes she like them the same grown men like you see what i'm saying so now she don't know what happened to kaniga she could just tell y'all when i left out that room them dudes was still in the room you see what I'm saying? So she gonna be like, but damn, if they if I left and they got a video and I was I just left, so she gonna be like, damn, I just left the room. So boom, watch this game. Look, we were watching the cover up the whole time. I ain't got no more respect for Miss Teresa, bro. Cause Miss Teresa protected Zach. Zach protected Rob. And Rob ended up earning both of their ass out. That just to let you know he mean what he said. <clears throat> That's why he was acting a fool on YouTube. That's why King Rob told everybody he did that to Kanika. He confessed. He said, yeah, I did it. Fuck her. He, he called Kaniga out her name. All of that, bro. Now I see why. If the police cover that up for you, because they, cause, because they the one that killed Kaniga, bro, he finna go live and tell the whole world this shit. Even to tell everybody, he told Lenora, the mama, he went in on Miss Teresa now. He went so hard on Miss Teresa now, man, we were feeling sorry for Miss Teresa, like, golly. And just don't know, she deserved every last bit of it. That's why that lady don't even know what to post next. She gonna, she gonna run out of Bible quotes. Check this out. He already ran out of Bible quotes. Her living over them bitches over there quiet, bro. You see what I'm saying? Look, check this out. I'm finna get straight to the T. Look, here we go. I'm finna mute my microphone. What you think, Miss Teresa? want to see on that camera round about this time you read the court documents now you know what's on Kanika phone at two some you know who Shamaya texting at two some you know what Bree Bree texting at two some and then you're gonna know where they location at at two and three some because they're gonna tell you where they yeah yeah where you at you know i'm running her around jj's and and you know what did you go to the movies yeah yeah i ain't want to be driving no donut on the car and i'll live this how miss Teresa would get her car back and watch this i ain't even know livernora got a car too livernora got a car you and miss Teresa got a car you see what I'm saying? The car that Kanika was just riding in, that was just a hand-me-down car that let Kanika drive and put her on the insurance. 
So look, I'm gonna read my microphone, let y'all watch this. What Miss Teresa want to be shown or want to be uh seen on the footage? If they walk out that door, why you don't see them on this camera? Look. See that? I'm going to let this video play even though it's about five minutes off. Look. Look, you got the truck pulling up. Look, that's when they going to be standing at the back door right here. So watch this. You don't see him come on that camera, do it. So, is they in the Caddyshack restaurant? They gotta be in the Caddyshack restaurant. Cause look, look where they finna go. You see what I'm saying? Now look where they go, bro. See that? Now it's 303.
I'm gonna play this John a little fast a little bit. So boom, I'm gonna match it up with this one. This is how I was watching the footage when I first got it. Cause look, you see, look who that is. Is that Shiloh? And that's the ain't that's the girl that was in T Y live video that 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 supposed to be sitting in the chair. Look, 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 What do you, and look, why did Shiloh was just in the lobby with, uh, I used to think there was, uh, Rico baby mama. I used to think there was Rico baby mama, but now I'm thinking that's jazzy because in the paperwork's. They got a, a lady in the paperwork named Jazzy. And the only Jazzy that I know that's connected in the case is Jazzy Wright, Kanika Cousin. That's why they interested over there in the pool area, bro. Look. Mm-mm. So what can the Tar and his gang went to? And what the other people that went through that were standing by the back door? Look how many people that's missing in that area. Where, where else they gonna be at? In the Caddy Shack restaurant. You see what I'm saying? And it's going to be video footage of it. Look. It's going to be video footage of these people with staff members. That's why the hotel had to admit. Kanika walked by staff members and they was uh, preparing food. Look, Kanika didn't walk by no, 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 uh, she didn't walk by no, uh, staff member. There was a Kanika lookalike. There was a family member. They just used that footage, but couldn't show us the footage of the employee in the kitchen. Showing who she walked past. That's always a big mystery, right? And this will let you know, Miss Teresa ain't going to tell us what employee. Look, they got Monifa now, Bri Bri, Shamaya. So it's no, it's no doubt on my mind that Miss Teresa on the premises, bro. Miss Teresa got to be on their premises. So now look. You know they in the Caddyshack restaurant. That's where all everybody going. Look, everybody went to the same direction and just going in different exits and entries of the Caddyshack. These people went down the hallway right here. 
went in the Caddyshack. Kenny Todd and them just went out this door to give you illusion that they finna leave. But they really probably walked down and went in the Caddyshack. Then you got Bree Bree, Maya and them just came from the Caddyshack. You see what I'm saying? Now, you could tell every now you could tell you could see the cooperation now. Bree Bree on the phone, Monifa on the phone, Shamaya on the phone. Everybody is on their phone. Now you got the police up there. Now keep this in mind. You ain't gonna see the police up there, bro. I believe the police showed up right after when they locked her in the freezer. That's why Monifa gave me my props. When I joined Monifa last, when I ain't joined it last, she went live. She seen me pop up in the chat. And the first thing that girl said, man, you need to be, you need to go to school and become a detective. Cause, cause Moniva was the only one that followed Trey Gang on social media and people could see it. And I always was like, I want to know why that lady following me. And I'm exposing her, trying to expose her. Maybe, maybe she was following Trey Gang because maybe she was like, man, look, the way Miss Teresa and them Put that narrative on me. Got me agreeing with I was the last one with her. Got people thinking that I left her in the hallway and I ain't even really do it. You see what I'm saying? That probably probably what she want to say. Cause she responded to me one time. And you know what? Every time, every time when I pop up, this all she say. Man, people be making fun of my nose and stuff, calling me ugly. This how I knew she was insecure about her looks. Cause she was like, she she really thinks she ugly, you know what I'm talking about, and all of that, right? It really messed with her. Because when she see me popped in the chat, I'm the only person that putting that shit out there. And she, and, and she just feels some type of way about it, but still try to, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that lady was still trying to get my attention or what. Make a long story short, I was clowning her. Maybe I clowned her so hard that she was like, man, I ain't telling that nigga nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm starting to feel because cause the way I'm looking at it, you could kill that theory about Monifa picking her up and taking her in the hallway, bro. That's what made up. It had to be made up, bro. Because how would that would be happening on the night if the girl is already in danger? You see what I'm saying? So look. It's 3.30 now. This when they told everybody. Uh, this when she finally walked in the freezer. This probably when they putting her in the freezer downstairs somewhere, bro. Cause look how it got quiet again. You see everybody, you see what everybody went to. What you think they doing, bro? Now what y'all think they doing? 
This what made Killer Family reach out to me. Because that's why Zach said, I never see physically no one enter the kitchen. And I was like, why he said it like that? Because I seen Killer go down there and I seen Monifa and them go down there. I didn't see them go in the kitchen neither. But the way Zach said it and it was the way that Zach was explaining and I'm like, and when he said, <clears throat> you remember when the police rushed in that kitchen? And when he said when the police rushed in that kitchen, that where Kanika body was really found, he was talking about on the lower level. He was talking about that's when they found Kanika body when the beverage, when the, when the, uh, you seen the guy see her. Look, y'all see that, bro? The police got to be there. Cause look, look how look how they cooperate, and these people was at the party, bro. They a part of it too. Look, bro, this is none but family members. This is Miss Teresa and them family members, bro. So look, they come in, boom. Now Lou and Monifa and them finna do. Keep this in mind. Look, Shemai got an arm in her sleeve. They all finna turn around at the same time. So they got to walk and talk it. Turn around. Why they turn around? Because they were Miss Teresa at. Bad girl. They were Miss Teresa at. This is where Miss Teresa going to be at, bro. Look, that's why you see them coming out the parking lot. The two fat chicks. Dude, look, you see the headlights now? And then look, watch what it's finna do. Them brake lights, bruh. Then they hit reverse. Then they hit reverse. Then somebody just walked towards the pool area. Then they hit the lights. Come on, man. What the fuck is going on in that pool area, bruh? Because cause when I look at the old crime scene photo, they had Kanika wrapped up in a body bag, a black and white body bag, and it wasn't in the freezer. It was like laying up against the wall. And I'm like, where is that location at, bruh? Because one thing I do know, wherever they had Kanika body, when they moved it out the pool, because you know they got to move the body out the pool, they put it, they had to have her on the lower level somewhere until they decided, but just put her upstairs. You see what I'm saying? This case got me so mad at Miss Teresa and Zach, bro, because I man, bro, once I started paying attention and listening, you know what I'm saying? I was like, whoa, man, this, this can't be real. So the whole time, Miss Teresa took up for Zach, robbed them, you know what I'm saying? And Miss Teresa started doing some funny stuff. Cause Zach, our, look, cause King Rob know every Miss Teresa move. When Miss Teresa first filed for that court, that silver suit, King Rob was already exposing it. He did, King Rob got so good that, that he didn't expose the judge on the case. Nobody didn't even know nothing about the judge and what was going on with the judge. But they, but the judge was, 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 was a bravery judge. Man, getting caught up in scandals. And you know, Mitch recently organized this old freedom fighters. Look, Zach organized, Mitch recently them organized, Andrew Hone them organized the freedom fighters, bro. You see what I'm saying? That's one way to make Zach look good. I'm going to film the freedom fight. Let me get Jedediah in her. Let me get P. Rico in them in her. King Rob already spoke Jedediah and P. Rico. Then all of them pointed the finger at Monifa and got Monifa looking like 
Like, like she the fall guy, bruh. And the whole time, it was a me. Look, check this out. We don't know Monifa. This one thing I do learn about Monifa. Monifa would do anything somebody would tell her to do. You see what I'm saying? She'll do what the gang tell her to do. She'll do anything what Miss Teresa would tell her to do. You see what I'm saying? What if they use that girl, bro? I'm going to just be real. Because cause they pointed the finger at Moniva, and Moniva didn't do none of that. You see what I'm saying? I don't even believe Moniva left in the hallway because that story made up, bro. Well, cause, cause look, this girl, look, this girl ain't even got the mind. When Zach told y'all, man, these just some, in so many words, Zach was telling y'all, man, these girls ain't on that level. These some young, dumb, you know what I'm saying? Full of calm, young girls. They just want to be around the part of the game. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to just be real, bro. I wish I could have the opportunity to talk to Monique because why else she would be following me unless she want to tell me something, bro. And I wasn't just taking her serious because I'm, I'm feeling like, man, look, if you ain't say nothing all this time, what make you think you're going to say something now? I mean, you say that's your friend and all of this, and you know what I'm saying? And if, if that's the case, you know what I'm saying? Man, it, look. I really believe that Monifa could shed the light on what really happened, bro. And we got to hear it out her mouth, bro. The girl was being controlled. You see what I'm saying? The girl was being controlled and manipulated, bro. Keep this in mind. She was a child when this happened. She was just a child, bro. But I don't know her full story. I ain't saying she all innocent. Cause look, look, look at this. They just came from the parking lot. We don't know. This could be the real actor of Kanika, bro. She walking just like Kanika. 50 the strain. She 50 the, the same description as Kanika. You see what I'm saying? Only difference here is the shoes. You can just easily just change your shoes. Look, look. You can might as well say that's Kanika, bro. You see what I'm saying? Look. You see that paw down the middle of her head? If you watch that lower level kitchen when Kanika walk in that lower level, West Hall, and when she get right up under this camera, this lady got the same paw in the head. Check this out. You can screenshot this right now. Screenshot this right now. This for this for the people that want that, that never saw the footage and don't know what's going on. I can screenshot this and make a thumbnail and say I found Kanika. And, and and look and crop this crop everything out and watch and people will be like there go Kanika. You won't even be able to tell the difference. You see what I'm saying? You won't even be able to tell the difference, bro. Hi, y'all. Appreciate the cash I got in too, y'all. So, make a long story short. Wow, man. Let me 
the star that motherfucker all the way over. So y'all seen the headlight? Monifa Neal. Monifa Neal running in and out. All right. Hi, y'all. Appreciate the lights, gang. We are more at 300 lights. So make a long story short, Miss Teresa, you protecting Zach. Zach brought some people to the party they really want supposed to be there. Hell, Zach don't want supposed to be there. You see what I'm saying? These is grown men that weren't supposed to be at the little girl party from the start. Right? So they're going to have to protect their image and convince everybody, nah, we don't go to little girl's party. Nah, we don't drug teenage girls up. You see what I'm saying? But it happened. And this thing, you know, Zach got the cover for his homeboy. And then you got the mama on your ass. So now you got to strike a deal with the mama. And Zach got money. Ain't no telling. It could have went like, man, look, I'm sorry, Miss Teresa, man. You know, King Rob, we did her. Who goes some money? You know what I'm saying? You know I ain't got nothing to do with it. And, 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 and she and she could probably understand me like Zach. I know you you ain't like that, but I know, I understand your nigga. You know raw. So I could see that. Then Zach then Zach was like, man, look, let you know we got to make this go away. You know what I'm talking about? Cause I'm finna get whack. King Rob finna get the whacking motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? He he already threatened you. Because everything King Rob act like is what these people describe of the people. They so scared of this person because this person is crazy and lunatic. And King Rob showed that to the world, bro. When he speak, bro, everybody bow down and they ain't finna argue with him and say nothing to him. But one thing I noticed, he was cool with Tiffany Draper for some reason. And I'm like, man, he giving Tiffany Draper and Watch Out Squad a shout out. It was like Tiffany Draper got something on Rob and he ain't want none of that exposed. If you ask me. So, so, Miss Teresa knew that who did it, what they did to her. And the first thing that Miss Teresa did was got on the hotel case. I want a check. So she protected Zach TV. She protected Rob. Everybody in their room. She knows it was a reenactment. She got mad when Chosen King tried to expose her. She got mad at Scray Drop when Scray Drop started clout chasing on the name, raising money. That's why she told, that's why she asked Scray Drop, did you help kill my baby? And when she said that, he got to be working for security at Crown Plaza. He got to be working for security at Crown Plaza because he all on the footage with Risco. And Risco pointed to him like he got orders. Because I'm like, how the fuck he know him? And that's all straight job work for. It's security. That's his number one background. That's his number one job. Just say like, just say like, 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 if you were, if you work at a warehouse and that's all your jobs in warehouses, that's all I do. I work at warehouses. That's what I know how to do. That was just straight job. Mark on them. So if you look at it, if you look at it like this here, all these people with security and work for Crown Plaza, they're going to have those security at the crime scene, covering up a murder, right? And then they can become YouTubers and take the narrative 
off Crown Plaza, really, but still point the finger at them, but make the story sound so crazy that nobody, it's not believable no more. You know what I'm saying? Now, now everybody don't know what's going on. Now, nobody, now everybody think it's fake. It's a side ops and she ain't dead and she in with the petition program and you know what I'm talking about. And all let Miss Teresa need that, bruh. She needed that for us to think like that. So I'm like, oh, that's cold. So she took up for Zach. That's why they gave Zach a MTV spotlight on the case. Because when you listen to the question, all he, all that they did was ask him some questions that he had to recant about when he said about Olga Harvison and all of this. Because he went back and said none of that didn't even happen. So everything he said, they really asked him the same question, but made him say, now nah, I don't think it was Olga Harvison, you know what I'm saying? I don't even think I'll let no more, you know what I'm saying? I just think she really wandered around the hotel. Whoa, you, you really think she run around the hotel and then what? Who you think that did it? I believe someone in that hotel Killed Kanika. Oh, really? You a sellout. Miss Teresa a sellout. Everybody tried to sell out on the Kanika Jiggy case and benefit off that girl name, bro. You got Miss Teresa doing interviews, lying, living Nora sitting up there daydreaming, listening to her mama, lying. You got Andrew home telling. So I see what all this about. I see what all this about now. Look. So Miss Teresa done turned up. September the 12th. Look, this was her mind on. This messed up, bruh. Three days in the freezer, dead inside of a freezer. Cub, what's this about? You the mama and you posting this? You make sure everybody point the finger at Monifa, bruh. Look at all of these, man. So, while Zach was pulling the move on Facebook, Miss Reese busting the move on her. Bringing up old videos of Irene in the car with Kanika. She basically trying to drop these videos, be like, yeah, Irene and Monifa, you know, they'll never do nothing that to Kanika. And then look, the girl could have basically had a party and they niggas came and crashed that jump, bro. What if it what if it was like this? What if what if like what they said in the beginning? If some dudes showed up at the party that one post to be there. And that was Zach now. But Kanika probably know Zach was coming, but didn't know Zach would bring it home, boy. And you already know if a nigga, you know, bring some homeboy, if a nigga can bring some homeboy to your house and he and, 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 and he know he finna smash you, right? But he bring his homeboy with you, man, look, 
One of his homeboys want to smash. Nine times out of ten, he going to bust you up in that room and walk out there, John. And this thing, you know, his homeboy going to walk in and talk about some what's up. Then, then you're going to see how much you worth then when a nigga do you like that. So, boom, that had to been the case. And then things went wrong when King Rob got in the mix. And then when King Rob got in the mix, all hell broke loose. So, boom, so you know they're going to torture these little girls in here and told them, tell them to stick to the script? You see what I'm saying? Because if you look at look how scared Irene was. You can't deny that. Look how scared she was when she was talking to Zach TV. Clearly the girl was scared. Clearly the girl was scared. And then everybody already talking about black eyes that she had. Is that true? And that's the case. So that tells you she was scared of them. And they were probably beating up on that girl, bro. To make her say that. I don't know. But just look at the situation. Then look at Monifa. She ain't want to do with none of these people, bro. She ain't want to do nothing with no Zach. She ain't just really, you know what I'm saying? She ain't just really want nothing to do with Miss Teresa, Lirinora. She ain't even just really even mentioning these people, bro. I'm looking at it. I'm I'm trying to look at it from both sides. And man, and then, and, and, in so many ways, in so many ways, bro, you got to look at it. King Rob probably be one of those type of nigga, you know, man, I can manipulate Monifa. You can run game on Monifa won't even know that she be she got game running on her, bro. She that green. She don't know nothing about game in these streets. She could have had a new like, look, do this for me and do that for me. And this time, you know, she was like, damn, the f what I just did. I just helped these folks did my friend like that. Because, look, these people got us looking at this whole situation wrong. The police, Miss Teresa, Zach, Jedediah Brown, Rob, Chloe, Zillionaire, name them all. Name them all, bro. But yeah, man, look, y'all, all I just want to show y'all with that, you know what I'm saying? And this Facebook, if y'all agree, because this ain't nothing but receipts, here. Ain't even no more conspiracy theory about it. Because I'm like, man, why would the police would cover up if it was just a rape? You hear what I said? Why would they cover it up if it was just that? I don't never, I never, look, why would they cover it up if it was that alone? They let you know it's a more tea need to be spilled. And y'all want to know what the tea is? Bruh, this case finna even, even get more crazy. Man, y'all thought y'all done heard it all. Wait till you hear this. So, man, y'all stay tuned. Thumb your boy Trey Gang up. And, 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 and y'all got to do this for Kanika, bro. Because we owe it to her. We can't let Kanika go out like that. We can't let her go out there like that. And her mama... And still sitting here. Because the only way she say something. Is we know something. You can't deny the truth. You see what I'm. You cannot deny the truth. Once the people start waking up. And like man. Miss Therese. Why she feel that pressure. Because she did. Because she did say. I wanted to tell the world. The truth. How my daughter really died. 
She didn't even die the way y'all thought she died. She told y'all to word it. Since she told y'all to word it, she need to give you the answers then. No, I'm talking about. She said it. If she so-called love the J for K community, prove it and address the community. Because all she finna do is that act like uh, she uh, Ray Charles or something. She don't hear nothing, see nothing. You know what I'm talking about? Hi, y'all. Man, look, man. Trey gang love y'all, bro. And y'all be cool. And y'all be safe. And I appreciate y'all sharing the video, too. And thumbing your boy up. It's nothing better than to see. You know what I'm saying? When I wake up in the morning and I just read comments. And I just read the people. You know what I'm saying? Thoughts and opinion. I be glued just reading the comments. And when I get through reading the comments... I just sit back and I'm like, man, how did I get myself into this? Here I am, just a nobody with just like, I'm just looking into the cases, too much stuff going on. These YouTube arguing like they got something to do with it, like they got something to hide. And come to find out, all, all my good feeling was true. Everything that I believe in, it was true. And I'm like, man, here I go, just made a video like, damn, I feel like this could have happened, that could have happened. Because if you look at the timeline, just look at the time and focus on the time. And, and here I go. 45,000 subscribers later, bro. 45,000. I ain't just sit here and be like, yeah, I'm just become a YouTuber. And, and you know what I'm saying? I'm finna do some mud uh, detective work. No. I ain't know nothing about, you know, I mean, I wasn't even on YouTube like that, bro. I was just watching this rap song. You know what I'm saying? At the job and shit, let YouTube play on some rap song. Now, here I go, this time, you know, and then make it so case. I'm like, no, only I got 45,000 subscriber people, but look at all the people that reached out to Trey Gang that were actually involved in with the case. You see what I'm saying? Man, no folks see Trey Gang a threat over here. The reason why I'm a threat to these people, bro, because look at the narrative. Look how the narrative I just gave y'all is so simple. It's so simple. I mean, it ain't even, this just how the way gangs behave. This how the, this, this the type of shit that goes on in Chicago, bro. This what Chicago do. I don't know why Chicago love to film these kind of crimes, bro. It's like it's a new thing. It's like, it's like, you, you know what I'm saying? It's like I just want to do a head count and ask every nigga in Chicago, look, is that cool? Is it cool for you to have a friend that will go around and take women's cookie and film it? You know what I'm saying? Look. Would you be friends with a rapist? If you friends with a rapist, you worse than him. I don't know, gang. I just don't even get it, bro. It got to a point that it it it, it got to a point it's cool now because you could cause it's the gang doing it. Yeah, we did it. It's a gang. We doing it, so it ain't nothing wrong with that. Come on, bro. Y'all used to hear stories about these niggas go to jail and they get their booty taken. That's a lie. They coming in jail giving away booty now. Come on, now. They giving away booty now in jail. 
You can simply ask for a nigga. Man, look, look, you could trade a nigga pack of cookies for some booty, bro. Man, I got you three packs of strawberry cookies right now. Let me smash. I got you four soups and two packs of strawberry cookies, nigga. Let's go. You know what I'm talking about? So now you done sold your ass for two soups and a pack of strawberry cookies, bruh. And, 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 and that ain't even funny because that's what these niggas do in jail, bruh. You ain't even walking no nigga cell with no bank roll. How you think, how you think, how you think these things take place? No on time out. Man, you got niggas saving up their trades and shit, man, brother. Man, let me get your trade. Let me get your trade. And take them down there to the bar. Now the boy done sold his booty for for the goddamn three state trades. You know what I'm talking about? So that's worse than the crackhead because the crackhead at least gonna get 20 or 10 dollars but you sold your booty for three steak trays man they come with a fruit cup a, a, a two scoops of beans you know what i'm talking about you ain't even got no meat on that motherfucking bro But yeah, guy, I got to get on out of here, man. I love y'all, bro. Y'all be cool. I appreciate the cash out game, the super chat. You know what I'm talking about? The new subscriber. I'm glad that y'all sharing it too, y'all. Because y'all got Trey Gang in the right position now. Because now I'm ready to get on Miss Teresa ass, living over ass. I want to I wanna turn up so bad because next time, I'm finna just start calling out family members for who they is, bro. I ain't scared. I ain't no sucker. They need to get it and hear the truth. I ain't no wimp, bro. And y'all ain't no wimp neither. Man, look, don't let that lady feel so comfortable, feel like she ain't got to tell nobody nothing, bro. Bro, bro, if you think about Kanika, bro, how you think Kanika feel about her mama right now, bro? Think about it. What would you think if you could ask a nigga about her mama? I don't think she had nothing good to say. Not after this. Miss Teresa knows she dick happy, bro. Miss Teresa's a freak. Her own sister call her freaky T. Freaky T. Freaky T. If her own sister call her that, you can just imagine who else calling her that, bro. That lady's a freak. You know what I'm saying? Before Kanika died, that's all she was talking about. Chasing up behind a nigga, bro. Look, look, it got so bad that the lady can't even show up for the protest because she want to lay up with a nigga? To lay up with Jane Coleman, bro? Bruh, look at this nigga. You mean to tell me you know she fucked up in the head? Look at the nigga she fucking with, man. Look at the nigga she fucking with. A screw. Don't even got his own car riding in your shit. I'm looking at these nigga outfits. Yeah, that nigga never be fresh. I'm looking at all these Walmart ass clothes and flea market and shit. Then he look like he smoke rocks and blow dope. Then told everybody, yeah. Jane Coleman wasn't at the hotel. He was at work. You taking up for these niggas, bro. And then you want everybody to call you Mama T. 
man, bitch, fuck you and your daughter. You see what I'm talking about? Man, look, man, fuck me, Teresa, bro. And that motherfucking Lenora, bro, fuck that too. Because of what they did with Kanika, bro, man, they were wrong for that, bro. I ain't got no respect for no Lenora. These four happy they gone, bro. Man, these four happy that Kanika gone, bro, because they got the money. Man, fuck them four, bro. I ain't got no more respect for them. And I'm out, y'all.